this week uh, we're having a quick look at uh, fixing a puncture on the Giant halfway. You remember last week we did a video on repairing the hinge? Well, I mentioned in that video that I looked at some of the forums and they said the only way to fix this problem was to replace this part of the, the frame uh, where we did it with the, with the new bushes. Well, on the forums and also a few people asking how you actually remove the wheel because they're a mono blade wheel. It's quite easy. First thing is, if you're gonna fix a puncture on this, you don't need to remove the wheel. But if you do, I'll just quickly show you to do that now. It's quite simple. First of all, you go on the non-fork side, front or rear, and you remove this little plastic cap, simply like that with a screwdriver. And inside there, you've got a 13 mil nut. So it's an easy thing to do. Get your 13 mil socket, place it on there, and just remove it. Now, if you do want to take the wheel off, the other thing I'd advise as well is obviously you've got to clear the brakes. So the easiest way to do that I found was to actually remove the caliper using a 10mm socket on there, just completely remove the caliper. And what that then does, you just remove the last of the air at the tyre, you can actually then take the caliper out of the way, leaves your wheel to just pull straight off the shaft. So what we'll do now, we'll just do that just to show you how to actually take it off. But like I said, on a puncture, I'll, just, I'll show you that as well. You don't really need to. So first thing to do is remove any remaining air out of the, out of the tyre. That way we can squeeze the tyre so it's to pass the brake blocks. The other way you could do this actually is to just remove the brake blocks if you wanted to. I've always found this was a lot easier. So it's a simple case of take this off, which has a nylon lock on it. Remembering the order of your washers. As you can see, the caliper just pulls straight through. I'll just remove those two washers so we know the order. And like I said, at this point, just give the tire a pinch, come straight off, just hang it out of the way. Take your 13mm socket. This is also easier to do on the floor than in a stand, but we've done it on the stand just so you can see it on the video. that off and basically now there you go the wheel comes off so you can do your puncture repair in the normal manner uh, I'll not show you that because there's plenty of videos we might get around to it one day there's plenty of videos showing it so then it's just a simple case making sure you've got plenty of copper slip or grease on there uh, you just place it back on tighten it back up put your brake caliper back on tighten all your nuts up fill it up with air where you go there's a puncture repaired on the giant halfway and as i said we can take the inner tube out the tire without even removing the wheel now uh, we just pop the tire off the rim and now plenty of access you can reach in get all the inner tube to pull it out you can do just enough clearance splash your brake pad to remove the inner tube out of the tire Ready to do your repair, and as you can see, this has already been previously repaired. I just put a new inner tube in, just reverse the process and back on, and that's without removing the brakes or the wheel from the bike. Brilliant invention, the, the mono blade, um, just gives you easy access. If you get a punch while you're out and about in town, all you need is a patch, a couple of tire levers, some glue, and away you go. Thanks for watching. Give the channel a like and a subscribe, and until next time, YouTubers, it'll be right.